As with compression, EQ is one of those things that's subjective as well. So in Audacity, go to Effect, Equalization. I prefer, rather than this one to draw curves, I prefer the graphic EQ version, but you can use either. I would just keep everything in its default setting with these uh, length of filter and so on. What EQ is, I mean, this is the audio spectrum from its lowest sound to its highest sound. What you need to do is use this sparingly just to maybe bring out certain parts of your voice. And once you, you get used to your own voice and how you've recorded it, you will know which bits of the EQ to push out or, or reduce. So, for instance, with my voice, I like to push out around about 80 hertz a little bit. Uh, and less is always more with EQ, you don't want to over EQ anything. Um, so 63 hertz there. So, you know, 63 hertz I've moved up by 2 decibels, 2 dB, and 80 has gone by 6, and 100 hertz is 3 dB as well. Sometimes you get a pop in your recording, regardless of how careful you are with the uh, windjammer or pop shield. So taking off some of the very low parts of the audio can aid in disguising some of those little so i'll just make a nice little ramp there from the lowest frequency and then round about uh, four or five kilohertz it can be useful to add a bit of sparkle to the sound by increasing some of these little so 1 db on 6.3 4 db on 5 kilohertz and uh, 5 dB on 4 kilohertz and sometimes as well it's good to have a little dip so in the middle around about 800 hertz and 630 hertz I'll just take it down 4 to 5 dB and what you can do is just use these as a starting point but have a play around with them and see which suits your voice best and then make a note of what settings you use for your voice so that every time you do a recording you can come back to it and apply the same settings and that way you get a consistent sound. Your audio file will have changed slightly in uh, volume so some of it might have gone a bit louder or a bit quieter depending on what EQ you applied. So now is the time to normalise the file. So go to effect and normalise. Now, what Normalize does, it just makes the loudest part of the file as loud as it can be without distorting. So, Normalize to maximum amplitude should be checked. Uh, you can remove any DC offset as well. And uh, you can Normalize to 0 dB if you want to be very loud. Uh, so, here we go. And that now is your audio compressed, EQ'd and Normalized. So I'll just play that now and you can hopefully hear the difference from the original. Hello, this is a test recording to show how we can edit an audio file in Audacity. Hello, this is a test um, um, recording to show how... Um, we can edit an audio file in Audacity.